Hi, welcome to EMN5. Today our topic is going to be warfarin reversal. There are many, many different causes of over anticoagulation, especially when the patient is on warfarin. Lots of different drug interactions, which I'll go over in a second. Uh, notably Tylenol, that's a big one to remember, very, very common. And I have a couple other things listed here, essentially everything. Um, I have a couple other things listed here, diarrhea I thought was a really interesting one. Definitely a common thing in the ER and not something I always think about for causing a high INR. So make sure and check your patients if they have diarrhea and are on warfarin. Other things, uh, worsening malignancy, heart failure, liver dysfunction. Also think about diet if they look very wasted or cachectic. Uh, make sure and have a higher threshold for checking the INR. Now, as far as things that are protective that I uh, saw when looking up, just as kind of point of interest, obviously vitamin K and also alcohol is, interestingly enough, a protective. So these are some different drug interactions that can cause an increase in your INR. Um, all of these things interact with warfarin or the anticoagulation pathway in different ways, but I wanted to just list them in kind of by category so that as you're thinking about prescribing these things to your patients, you can kind of go through this checklist to uh, cross-check them against warfarin. So for cardiac, aspirin, Plavix, statins, amiodarone, that was an interesting one. As far as antibiotics, ciprofloxacin, uh, the cephalosporins, erythromycin, um, Bactrim, metronidazole, these are all really common antibiotics that we prescribe all the time. Make sure you check up your patients on warfarin. Uh, there's also some H2 blockers and PPIs like omeprazole. Um, if you're prescribing a pain medication to your patients, again, think Tylenol, aspirin, and NSAIDs can all interact with warfarin and increase that INR, and also uh, some SSRIs. Um, when it comes down to it, there's some great apps you can pull up on your phone, eMedicine or Medscape's Interaction Checker, same thing for Hippocrates. These things are free, it takes two seconds to bring them up, and also a lot of our electronic medical records will cross-check your warfarin and medications that you're prescribing. So I wanted to go through the recommendations for a super therapeutic INR. These come from CHESS, the uh, ACCP guidelines from 2012. You first want to start out splitting it into, are they bleeding or not bleeding? If they're not bleeding, check an INR. The new recommendation, which is different from the 2008 um, American College of Chess Physician recommendations, the cutoff is for 10, INR of 10. Uh, the old ones split it into a couple of different ones. I think the cutoff was 9, so just as a note, now we're looking at 10. If you're less than 10, essentially all you have to do is skip or hold a dose, start rechecking your INRs, and restart it again when you're therapeutic. If your patient has an INR greater than 10, you give them 2.5 milligrams of PO vitamin K, and then same as the prior, um, start holding or skipping a dose until they're therapeutic again. If they are bleeding, the difference here is you want IV vitamin K, and it has to be a slow infusion. The recommended dose is 5 to 10 milligrams. The 2012 guidelines change a little bit here from 2008 in that now they recommend four-factor prothrombin complex concentrate. However, it doesn't seem that this is available in the U.S., so despite the fact that this is their first recommendation, probably in our everyday we need to stick with um, FFP, which is available in the U.S., and was the prior recommendation, or there's the three-factor PCC. So three things to remember from this talk. There are lots of great apps out there. Make sure and check for your interactions. And always think about Tylenol and diarrhea. Those are things that I don't always think about for increased INRs. If you have an INR greater than 10, give PO vitamin K. If it's bleeding, IV vitamin K plus one of the products. And thanks again for joining us on EM in 5.